Welcome back. Here's a little bit of a different video. Um, one of uh, the commenters on the channel, um, Wilfred, if you've seen any of his comments, he's been extremely helpful, very encouraging. Uh, we've been emailing back and forth. And he offered to uh, make, you know, attempt to make a new gib for my compound and see if we can't try to improve this thing. And uh, I took him up on his offer and uh, he's just a super nice guy. I can't thank him enough. Uh, I gave him measurements on what, uh, what I was needing and the size. So we're, what we're attempting to do is replace the gib that's in there with one that will fill that entire slot. And perhaps it will help stabilize that top compound. Uh, I've been using it a little bit more and it's just coming loose and it, it's just the gib is undersized for the slot. It's just poorly machined, the whole compound or at least the top. I think uh, I was talking to one of the commenters, it might've been Dave. He said, it looks like the compound is not made for this particular the top slide is not made for this particular compound. I think you might be right. It doesn't match the pictures. Not that that means anything. But anyway, um, so today it's exciting. A uh, package arrived from Will. Uh, we're going to do an unboxing. Uh, we're, we're hiding uh, people's private information. That's what this is about. Um, but what I'm going to do is pause the video here. I'm going to get this cut open because I don't want to share... Uh, my information or, or his information with the world. Um, but we'll get this opened up. I'll remove that, that private information and then we'll just take a look at what's in this box together. Again, Wilfred, thank you so much for all of your help, your encouragement and the, uh, offer to supply some materials for me to continue to learn with. So I'm going to pause the video here, make sure that, uh, there's no information being shown or, you know, shared with anyone here and then uh, we'll see what's in the box. All right, uh, I've got all the pertinent information removed from this. So uh, we're keeping people's privacy. Uh, we're being respectful of that. So let's, let's start tearing into this and uh, we'll see what we got. Um, again, uh, starting this channel is, has been such a cool experience. There has been, so many people that are willing to help and, and want to help. You know, of course you got a few trolls out there, but for the most part, my experience has been positivity, people just wanting to help, um, just being very gracious with their time and their, their patience. Um, it, it really is a wonderful thing. And it, it just reminds you that despite all the negativity in the world, or what you see on the news all the time, there's, there are a lot of good people out there. Um, just remember that, um, you know, enjoy yourself. Try not to take it too seriously. I know I, I do sometimes that, you know, nobody likes to hear negative comments on your channel. Um, but occasionally you get them there and it, yeah, it kind of bums you out, brings you down. But, you know, I know that going into this, I knew I got to grow some thick skin because I know, well, you know, the internet, it's full of all kinds of people. So, um, at any rate, uh, again, there's been so many people that have been so helpful. Wilfred, thank you very much. Let's see what you sent. And, uh, I'm kind of, I'm really excited about the gib. So he sent quite a few. This is, this is fantastic. So we've got a lot of material that was just scrap left over. Great for turning. There's some brass. We've got some half inch steel. Looks like some stainless this is, this is going to be excellent material. All of it appears, I believe it's 12 inches. Some of it might be 14. Um, there's some round bar brass. There's some hex round bar or hex brass. This is, this is fantastic. This is more than I could have ever imagined and asked for. Um, what else do we have in here? So here is, okay, he's got the gib inside of this piece here. It looks like something he was working on. Um, so we've got a piece of, uh, tubing. We'll come back to that. There's a really nice piece. Of, I believe that's two inch aluminum. Um, 
Wow, what a fantastic piece. Um, if you looked online, you know, all this stuff will really add up if you have to go and purchase all this stuff. Um, this is going to be so helpful for me to continue to learn, practice with, and, and hopefully make some really cool projects. Um, that's a really nice chunk of aluminum there. Um, let's see. There's some more hex, some more aluminum rod. Uh, looks like from an inch, half inch. Um, this is just fantastic material. What a what a treat! What a what a what a true gift here. What else we have? Oh, we've got a nice, really nice, solid stock of steel. Uh, he sent what this was. Um, I will grab that information and I'll just share and describe what it is exactly in case you're wondering. This is a pretty hefty piece of piece of steel. Um, but that's that's what's in the box. That's just fantastic. Fantastic stuff. Let's uh, get this stuff out of the way. Throwing it around. And I will read to you what 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 all this stuff is, uh, in case you're curious on the camera if it doesn't come across and you're able to see the size. But I want to give credit where credit is due. Wilfred, thank you so much for sending this information this uh, this material that I can work with and practice with. This right here, I'm going to remake the the um, the sleeve that goes in the top of my AXA tool post. It's got the thickness that I'm that I'm after uh, in order to actually make a piece that will truly fit into the top of. Yeah, so if you remember, so this is one inch four hundred thou. So. Let me just check this again. This was yeah, right about the same, but I needed a little bit undersized. So this this is going to be fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna, I got a project already for this stuff. Um, I'm going to pause it here. I want to recite what it is that these are, just to be sure, and uh, I'll bring you right back. Okay, I've got the uh, information. Um, that was sent. So just, you know, in case you can't tell on the camera, it's probably really difficult to tell what's what. Um, this here is about a four inch piece of aluminum round bar. It is, I believe, two inches, two inch round. Um, let's take a quick measurement. I'm about out of battery on this one, but uh, yeah, that's two inch stock, about little under four inches, but what a great piece of material to work with. Aluminum, of the little bit of aluminum that I have, just cutting it and playing with it is, it's really fun to cut with and play with. Um, like I said, this piece is the steel bar that is uh, 1.4, an inch, 400 thou. Um, I believe this one is, it's inch and three eighths, but this is 14 inches long. What a great piece of stock, and I already have a project for this one. And then we have some various aluminum rods and some more hex. This is half inch round, half inch round, three quarter round, or sorry, let me back up. We have inch round, three quarter, half inch, and then some other various pieces with some hex. All of this is about a foot long. We've got, yeah, that's uh, 370 thou, three eighths, I believe. There's half inch, yep. So there's uh, some really good material and some extra hex, hex rod in there. This is awesome, quarter inch. Then we've got some brass. There's some hex brass. That stuff is three quarter inch. You can see that the both of these are five inches long. There's some round bar and three quarter inch hex. That's going to be just fantastic to work with. We've also got some three quarter inch uh, stain. Well, three quarter inch. That might be stainless. Could just be round bar. Um, then there's some half inch stainless. 
heavy material. This is going to be fun to work with as well. And then finally, he sent uh, this uh, piece. It looks like a prototype or something he was working on. Um, and then he put the, the gib up inside of this. So this is really what I'm anxious to see what, uh, what we have because I'm having trouble with that gib, as you've seen from past videos. Let's go ahead and uh, get this cut open and take a look at that. It's just packed very well. Fantastic job here. Oh yeah. So he's got this protected very nice. You can see the gibbs all taped up in there. It's certainly bigger than the one, the one that I have. Oh yeah. This is beautiful. You get this uh, stuff off of here. There we go. Absolutely fantastic. Such a finer piece than what came with this thing. Let's take the original out so we can compare the two. I'll bring you right back. We got you back. Um, as, as you can see, they are different sizes. They are not the same. One is certainly undersized. I tried my best to measure these as best I could. He did make it slightly undersized, he said, just to make sure it would fit, because uh, my measurements weren't 100%, but I can tell already just having the extra height and thickness there is probably gonna go a long way. Um, I can't wait to get this, give this a shot. The angles look magnificent. What a, what a fantastic machine piece compared to the original. Now you can see where I hacked into it with a, you know, a file to try to get some dimples lower um, so that I could get that in there and keep it low, but it just keeps pushing this thing up inside that dovetail. So I am super excited to give this a try. Um, I want to see just how well we can do with this and, uh, you know, hopefully improve this top slide once and for all. Thank you again, Will. Um, Wilfred, this is absolutely fantastic. What fantastic material. What great viewers. The, the internet is, the world is full of great people. Just be open-minded, uh, you know, try to ignore the negativity that's out there. And, uh, you know, it's Thanksgiving time, you know, just be nice to one another. And uh, thanks again, Wilfred. I can't thank you enough. This is fantastic. You know, I think a fitting end to this would be to at least do a test fit of this gib uh, after all the hard work. What, what a beautiful piece. I'm going to get this test fitted into the top slide into the compound and we'll just see how much better uh, this looks with someone using arguably terrible measurements from myself uh, but doing this just from just from communication via email uh, let's see what uh, see how he did let's bring you uh, bring you over here so it's gonna be like this. So he, he did machine the reliefs in there. I know a lot of you might comment, well, you don't need the two on the outside. You know, maybe you're right, maybe you're not, but he went ahead and uh, machined them because that's what was there. Um, just to help, kind of help keep that firm and keep it from sliding. We understand that the, the center one is really the only one you need to lock it in place, but we've got them there. It's gonna provide a flat surface for these capped head screws to seat into. Um, so let's see how it fits. Let's see what it looks like. Let's get it to slide in there. There we go. Slides right in. Beautiful. That already you can tell 
Look at that fit compared to the other one. That's excellent. So if we were to get these to screw in, they should seat in. We'll start with the middle. Yeah, so that's already seated on there. You can tell if I'm bringing that out, it stays put. I'm excited about this. I think this is gonna be fantastic. I'll post a before and after picture as well. This is uh, fantastic. Thank you again. Uh, all right, thanks for watching. I uh, hope to see you on the next video. I'm gonna be using uh, this material that was gifted to me. Um, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.